The aim of the practicum is to prepare students for the real world. Antela working has arrived here to stay. I think one way to develop these competencies and these skills in our, in our students is the professional internships. During this period, they are able to contact the reality of the companies today, and these companies are using this technology and the remote work and to combine this, the remote work with the traditional organization of the job, and then this is a very good opportunity to learn. During the past course, the beginning of the practices run into the first wave of the pandemic in Europe, America, and in other continents. Our students uh, will able to experience in first person the transition from a face-to-face -face internship to an online internship, and all of this suddenly. This was a challenge, but also an opportunity for people. The situation was able to produce a new context to learn and to see how the remote work could be organized. Last year, uh, I moved to Germany to do my internship uh, with COVID-19, literally. Uh, so the day before my internship was starting, actually, they called us to tell us to stay at home. And then we all know what happened. I stayed at home for three months. I arrived in the US just a couple of days before flights from Europe were banned. I was able to visit the office and go through orientation meetings for two days before the announcement came that everything would be done from home. I moved to Porto in the beginning of March. So only two weeks into the internship, we had the first lockdown in uh, Portugal. So I had these those big expectations, um, and then I found myself in lockdown, like pretty pretty much everyone else. But it also presented a lot of new possibilities. As an example, we were involved in the leader and employee trainings in adapting to COVID situations, with courses including tips for leading remote teams or you know managing your mindset in uncertain times and many more. Of course, was a huge challenge, but at the same time an enormous opportunity for growth. The way we worked so far has changed. Teleworking and distance collaborative work tools have come to stay. New skills had to be learned or developed. It's important to be well-versed in using online conference services like Zoom or Google Meet. It's also very important to make sure that you have an even greater buffer time for output than before since there are less things you can control when people are working from their homes. In remote work, it's only you and the computer. And if you want to change something about your workplace or about your task, you have to proactively going to your mentor or your manager. So one thing that I found useful is to have a kind of post-work ritual. For example, go for a little walk or listening to my favorite music. As for remote working itself, it can be really tricky. We have to have good control of ourselves because like it or not, the distractions are higher. I think the key is to find what works for you. For example, for me, I feel like having a goal or checklist of what needs to be done at the beginning of the day really, really helps. Although of course, urgent things may come up in the middle of the day. And also having a designated table to work on so that we can switch on our work brain when we are at the table and switch to home mode when we are off the table is something that I do as well. One thing that really helped me adapting to the new reality was the fact that we had frequent team meetings, uh, which of course helped us stay connected from the beginning. We had the stand-up meetings every week with all the Europe team, and we had online gym sessions, we had virtual lunch or virtual coffee dates, and we also had a lot of different type of um, events like games, uh, for example, with the internship team, we had a virtual quiz night. Uh, we had the chance to join a chat roulette session or speed dating sessions. 
uh, within the team. So it's really important to have um, this kind of team building activities during teleworking. For example, we discovered that the meditation session can help a lot and lots of people are meditating at least one hour during the work uh, session. We have a personal trainer that is trying to give some online classes to the team. Uh, we discovered as well that sometimes we want to cook together. So everyone joins in the call and we can teach different recipes. So I can learn a little bit about some foods in Mexico. We can cook together, learn from each other and we can have fun. Organizations have to have the systems to make uh, the main documents and information and data available for workers when they work uh, in telework. But in addition to that, it was important that uh, people had to work in teams and had to be in coordination and supervised by their supervisors. And this again requires new skills and new abilities. Telework is much more than just assigning a work and asking for the delivery. I think that communication is key to, to have everyone in the same page and to align expectations. So I try to communicate all the time with the business, to align expectations with my boss, with my team, so we can guarantee that all the delivers, all the things that we are doing are aligned. If I have a new task and the deadline is due next week, my supervisor would check up on me uh, after three days to see how it's going, whether there, there's progress, whether there are some uh, doubts or concerns, and would discuss them. Supervisors and leaders play a very important role in uh, how uh, telework is implemented. Indeed, uh, different institutions are highlighting that uh, the success of the implementation of telework most times is more a, mat a matter of uh, leadership and other organizational processes more than just simply technology. Teleworking can only be effective if it is based on trust and commitment. The masters prepared us quite well, I must say, because first of all, all of us developed really good communication skills, which is the key for remote working, because you have to communicate a lot and you have to communicate every single thing which is happening in your work, which is happening in your mind. You have to really openly speak up um, in remote work. So you have to really honestly say, okay, look, Maybe I don't have a lot of things to do at the moment. I would like to do more or I would like to do different things. What can we do? People are talking about how more and more employees are demanding for remote working and how companies are transforming towards a full remote working or a hybrid kind of setup. I think there are just two things left for us to do. The first is to prepare ourselves for remote working. And as we are WOPI students as well, the second is to prepare ourselves and facilitating and bridging between companies and employees in the implementation of remote working itself. Seek for the new opportunities and always stay uh, connected beyond the physical space and also keep following your smart goals and your plans. Do whatever that motivates you during this time and we are always on the road and it's important to be flexible uh, and resilient and also it's important to adapt to, to the new situations. And so this is my recommendation. Be flexible, uh, be resilient, adapt to the situation and always be confident.